Hey guys, welcome back to my channel RFT, where I show you guys all the tips, tricks, and secrets to making over $12,500 all on your own in high school. In my last video, I talked to you guys about lawn care, specifically on the uh, cutting and pricing portion of the business. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to go check it out. I gave some really good, helpful tips. In this video, I'm gonna start talking to you guys about weed whacking and blowing and how you can make an extra 10 to $15 for every time you visit a client. So by adding weed whacking and blowing, you're giving your clients a more full lawn service, which why it can be really easy for you to make an extra 10 to 15 bucks for every visit because your clients really want that full professional service that you're going to be providing. So the reason I'm making this video is because if you guys are starting to make good money cutting people's lawns and that's what you like doing is spending time outside on nice days, then I want to help you maximize your profit by telling you how to add these services so that way at the end of the summer you can have a much bigger profit. So what I did at the beginning of my summers is I added these services right onto my flyer so that way clients could see that and they could decide whether they wanted just the cut or if they wanted that full service. So I recommend trying to get the word out as early as possible into your business so that way clients are more prepared and like have more time to decide whether they do want that full lawn service or if they just want the cut. So what you can do to offer these services is put them right onto your flyer and say that you'll give them to your clients for an additional cost. And I guarantee you that your clients are definitely going to pay that because they really want that full lawn service. You know, they want their lawn looking as neat as their house. So if you've already passed out your flyers and you didn't mention that you're going to be offering these services for an additional cost, that's totally okay because the next time that you go to visit your client's house to cut their lawn, you can just ask them about it and tell them about it. You can even just leave a note on the door telling them, hey, for an extra 10 or $15, I'll weed whack your edges and I'll blow your lawn. Okay, so here's some tips for weed whacking. Weed whacking is when you go around the edges of the lawn and you cut the grass that the mower sometimes misses. That tall grass that the mower usually misses is usually towards a fence or towards maybe a garden or stairs or something like that. So that's when weed whacking comes into play. So always weed whack after you mow because after you mow, you can see where that long grass is that you missed and it'll be really easy to just go over there with the weed whacker and make it all nice and clean around the edges. If you try weed whacking before you mow and try to like go around the edges and then mow, you still might miss some places and then you'll have to weed whack again. So just to save yourself some time, just mow and then go around the edges with your weed whacker. Since you're cleaning up the edges of someone's lawn, you really have to do a good job. So this means taking your time and not rushing. So what I like to do when I'm weed whacking is I like to take one step forward, bring the weed whacker across slowly, then bring it back. And then as I take my third step, I bring it along again. So this assures me that I'll get a nice, clean, even cut grass that's really gonna look nice when you're done with it. So the next key tip to keep in mind is to always have a nice tight grip on your weed whacker. If you're weed whacking and your hand slips and you drop your weed whacker and it creates a big hole in the grass, you know, like a patch or something, that's gonna be a tough conversation to have with your client. So just make sure to always be safe rather than sorry while weed whacking. You know, make sure that your path is clear, you're not gonna trip over anything, your hand's not gonna slip, anything dangerous like that. The next tip while weed whacking is to always wear pants while you're doing so because if you hit something with your weed whacker, like a rock or something, that plastic strip, you know, at the end that cuts the grass, if that tears and flings out and hits your ankle, that's gonna leave a pretty bad cut. I know I certainly did that a few times and I got a few cuts on my ankles and it doesn't feel good. So just make sure that you're always wearing long pants that covers your shins and ankle area and if you don't want to wear pants like you live somewhere relatively hot that's okay you can wear shorts but then just wear nice long socks that you can pull up you know halfway up your shin so that way you don't get cut okay so now that you've mowed the lawn and you've gone over it with the weed whacker now it's just time to take the leaf blower and just blow that grass that got off the lawn right back onto it so in my previous video I mentioned that you can go over the sidewalk and uh, driveway with your lawnmower turned on and it will act as a fan to blow all the grass that uh, fell off the lawn and it will get it right back on there. But I do recommend using the leaf blower if you have one because it's, it's gonna be a lot cleaner, it's gonna be more powerful, it's gonna really assure that you have a nice clean sidewalk and driveway. So what I like to do when I'm leaf blowing all the grass back onto the lawn is I like to start from the back of the driveway and make my way forward. So while you're doing it, you know, you just take a few steps forward, give it a little, it's like a hair dryer, you know, you just take a few steps forward, 
blow it back onto the grass. But a key thing to remember is as you're stepping back or turning around or whatever, make sure to lift up your leaf blower because if you leave it down while you're trying to turn or whatever, it's just gonna spread that grass even further and it's just gonna create more work for you. So just be cautious of that. So if the grass is relatively damp and the lawnmower or the leaf blower isn't really getting all the grass up, just bring a broom and uh, sweep it back onto the lawn. You just have to be good at judging the weather and what time of day it is because if it's in morning, um, there's gonna be that morning dew and uh, it, it's gonna be really wet. It's also not gonna cut that well, which is why I don't recommend cutting in the morning, but um, just be cautious of these things. You know, maybe if it's the day after it rained or whatever and you're cutting some lawn I would bring a broom because that grass might still be a little wet and it's gonna be harder to get it off the sidewalk so just keep those things in mind adding these two extra simple services while cutting someone's lawn is really gonna make it look clean and professional you know it's one thing to have the grass cut but if you go over it with the weed whacker and clean the edges and you leaf blow all the grass right back on the lawn your clients are definitely gonna pay that extra cost for how clean it looks if you have an electric weed whacker or an electric blower most houses have outdoor outlets that you can plug them into with extension cords so when you go to someone's house to cut their lawn make sure to take note of where those are so you're not spending like five ten minutes looking for them and uh, bring extra extension cords I've done it before where I thought that I had enough extension cords to cover their lawn and it turns out I just couldn't reach the back of it and then I had to run all the way home and run all the way back so just make sure you bring one extra extension cord every time you go to someone's house you might be thinking it might be kind of hard to carry all that stuff to your clients house blocks and blocks away but um, a really easy thing to do which is what I did is I got a box put the extension cords the weed whacker the leaf blower on there and then I just put it right on top of my lawnmower and then I just pushed it to the client's house you can do this really easily and then you can unload load it back up and then push it right back to your house so if you add these two services to your lawn service you can make 400 to 800 dollars at the end of the summer without even really putting in that much extra time or effort I'll add the links to a good weed whacker, uh, mower, and extension cords if you don't have those already. But this is definitely going to make you some great money without putting in too much time or effort. And it's going to give you a much more lucrative and enjoyable summer. Okay, so that pretty much sums up this video on weed whacking and blowing and kind of a lawn service as a whole. So if you guys like this video or got a good tip out of it, make sure to give it a like. And in my next video, I'm going to start talking to you guys about how you can start making some serious money still outside over your summer break, but without having to buy all this equipment. So if you want to see those videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, till next time. See you guys.